So the first thing I want to do is actually exfoliate my lips. And this looks absolutely disgusting. I'm so sorry. I'm very ashamed. Um, but this is just like an e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I think it's like brown sugar. Um, and I'm just going to take that in like little circles and try and help these very sad looking lips. I have like the most round face ever and like a very round eye shape. So I'm super hyped to test this out and see if I can get that like snatched angular bone structure because I don't have that naturally. I am going to take, um, I'm gonna take um, a Too Faced lip injection. Um, it, this is in the color milkshake. It really doesn't matter though because I'm gonna wipe it off. I just want this um, for right now because I feel like Big juicy lips are like it right now and again do not have that naturally so I'm just going to apply that and kind of let it hang out for this makeup look I'm gonna be jumping around a lot just a forewarning it's gonna be a little bit of a hot mess but I am kind of experimenting here I'm going in blind I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just going to try and test this out. So bear with me. It's going to be a little bit all over the place. But to start, I am going to prime and apply my foundation just so that's already on there. Um, I'm going to be taking my Cover FX Gripping Primer. Um, so I'm just going to apply like a pea-sized amount. And I love this primer because it just really makes your makeup last all freaking day. Like... This gets a little bit tacky, although it doesn't keep you matte or control oil or anything like that or keep you hydrated. It does really ensure that your makeup does not wear off, which I appreciate because on my nose, it's like the first place to go. As you can see, it's like a nice sticky layer. Um, so for foundation, I'm going to be going in with Too Faced Born This Way. I haven't picked this up in so long, but I love it. I love her um, and I have mine in the shade pearl I'm a little bit I'm actually really fair right now mm, I don't know if this is a good shade for me hold on all right so pearl is the lightest shade I have in this right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and just dot this and mm, I think we'll be able to make it work if it's a little bit too light I'll just go in with a lighter concealer I'm taking about a pump and a half just because this is a little bit more of a natural Kind of coverage finish foundation like medium to full um, and then I'm just gonna take my uh, Junoico sponge and just blend this out and in case you were wondering yes my lips are on fire okay so I'm just gonna actually let this sit for now I'm gonna let it kind of sink into my skin um, and I'm going to move on to my brows um, so my brows I've actually been doing a lot differently lately and I'm probably just gonna speed through this But I just want to explain what I'm doing first if you want a more in-depth brow tutorial Let me know and I can definitely do that in a separate video, but it takes a lot of explaining So that needs to be a whole different video. It's gonna take too long if I try and do it in this tutorial um, But basically I'm just gonna take my Anastasia dip brow pomade in the shade ash brown I like the look of a really dark brow because my roots are pretty dark um, and plus I just like the way blonde hair with like a really deep like thick brow looks. I think it looks really really flattering and then I am using my soap brows by WBC Co I think is what it's called. Um, WB Co whatever this is what it looks like I can definitely link it down below if you guys are intrigued um, soap brows are like kind of making a comeback just because I really want to try the brow lamination thing but obviously I can't get it done right now so I've been kind of faking it with the soap brow um, so basically what I want to do is because everything in their makeup is like the Bella Hadid Gigi Hadid it's all very angular so Basically what I'm going to be doing this entire makeup look um, and like I said this part's going to be a little boring but I just want to explain what I'm doing so that way you guys can kind of see how it all works together. Um, makeup is really cool because it's all about shading and playing with angles and things like that and this is just the perfect example of it. So to give myself a guideline what I'm going to be doing is basically making sure I'm going to take it from the edge of my nose and take it to the edge of my eye 
and this is gonna be the shape that everything is gonna be going in. So my brow is gonna be going this way, my liner, my shadow, probably my contour is gonna be a lot more severe than I normally do it. It's probably gonna be a lot more angular. Everything just needs to kind of flow up and diagonal. Um, so we're gonna kind of just really mimic that like facelift and that kind of like pulled back like sultry fox, fox eye appearance um so we're gonna make sure we got really nice almond eyes and we're just really like giving ourselves an actual like eye lift um we want everything to look like really nice and just snatched what i'm basically going to be doing is you see how i'm a little bit too arched here so what i'm going to want to do is kind of flatten it a little bit i just want to flatten the curve a little bit so you're gonna wanna make them go a little bit straight. There's still gonna be an arch, but the arch is not gonna come down. To start with, I'm just gonna basically brush everything up and out. So I like to kind of draw each hair in, which is a very tedious process, but it's just gonna look a lot more natural and make your brows look a lot fuller and not like you have Sharpie brows. And then what I'll do is just go in with my soap brow and then I take a spoolie and I actually bent this one. I just think it's a little bit easier to push up with the angle. Um, and so I'll just go ahead and run that in there. Get it nice and moist and coated. And then I'm just going to start really pushing my hairs up. And now I'm gonna go in and clean them up with the tiniest bit of concealer. Brows are on, so I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm gonna go in with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is actually a brand new one. Ooh so satisfying and I'm just gonna take this on my finger. The time has finally come to move on to eyeshadow and today I'm going to be using this Zoeva Blanc Fusion eyeshadow palette. Um, I actually haven't used this one yet. I just pulled it from my stash of stuff um, just because this has like the perfect like matte nude kind of shades that we need. Um, you can do this with any color you want. It really does not matter. Um, but I'm going to use probably a mix of warm and cool tones um, just to make it really nice and neutral. Um, I think just to be safe, I'm gonna go in with Joy in a Box here, which is kind of like a nude shade. And I just realized this palette does not have a mirror, so I'm gonna take away points for that, Zoeva. Um, and I'm just taking that on a Morphe M139. It's kind of like a pointier blending brush, um, but it is still pretty fluffy. And we're gonna work light to dark, basically. So what I'm gonna do is just focus this in the outer corner, and I'm just kind of flicking it. So the majority of your pressure, you want to be in this outer corner right here. You don't want it to be right here because if not, your outer crease is gonna be really, really smoky. And since we're going for a winged effect, we wanna kind of keep everything tight to that corner. I'm just placing my brush and then flicking it out. And then doing the same thing on my lid, just to kind of start carving that like shape you can kind of see the tiniest shadow the whole key with looks like this is just building this middle shade here conched still on the cool side um, but I'm going to take that color actually mixed with a bit of question of taste so I'm going to take these two mid-tone browns and I'm taking that on a peaches PC 30 it's like a flat blending brush um, and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I was before. So you can see where we're starting to carve everything out. And again, I'm using my nose and the tail of my brow to kind of get that diagonal shape. On this much smaller shader flat brush, I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is called Last Bite, this deep brown up here. And I'm just gonna take that on 
tip of the brush and again just recreate that whole line and that is kind of what we're working with so far i'm just going to take a little bit of that mid-tone brown and just kind of blend a little bit again keeping everything going in the same direction um, you don't want a windshield wiper motion because that will create a more rounded eye effect we're really trying to pull everything this way i think i might stop there um i am gonna deepen up the wing a little bit but i think in terms of the shadows i'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. All right, so I know this looks a little bit intimidating um, right now, um, but it's all gonna come together. It's gonna look, it's gonna look good. Just be patient. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of run my finger and just sharpen everything. And that's part of the reason why I have not done my concealer yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is take a brown eyeliner and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and just a really small um, liner brush, um, an angled liner brush and I'm just going to coat my brush and I'm just going to use this to kind of deepen my wing a little bit. And I'm really honestly not taking it further than like halfway so I'm gonna go in with the shade travel inspired it's just like a blank canvas skin tone shade um, and I'm just going to pat this on my lid I'm gonna take a mascara and just apply a quick coat and then I am gonna be applying falsies today these to me are just like the perfect like lash for this look. Um, these are the House of Lashes Iconic. As you can see, they're really spiky and just like really flare out on the end. Um, any lash you have is gonna work, but preferably something that kind of tapers out towards the corner of the eye, that like feline kind of style lash. So the trick with your lashes is that you basically want to place them how you normally would except on the outer corner you want to pull it up a little bit and actually place the outer corner on your eyelid um, you don't want to place it flush because again that's just going to really flatten everything out whereas normally you would have kind of a rounder shape and then you just really want to push everything up so now you can really see that kind of like flared out on the edges like really It is time to finally move on to the rest of our face because we've been sitting here forever. Um, I'm going to be concealing with my Hourglass Vanish Concealer and this is in the shade Birch. And I am going to be very strategic in where I place my concealer. I'm going to basically really do that like triangle situation, but I'm gonna dot it all the way out here because we wanna create that like very very angular shape and we really want to pull everything out i'm using a shade that's like one or two lighter than my foundation maybe a little bit more and i pull my concealer when i'm doing looks like this all the way into my hairline and then blend it down before i set everything down i am going to cream bronze today and i'm going to be using my chanel soleil de tan overpriced cream bronzer situation um, I love this stuff though, it's so good. Um, so I'm actually just gonna take that on a brush and I'm really going to focus it back here and making it actually pretty dang high. There's a freaking gnat in here that is driving me insane. And you don't wanna like round out your cheeks, you wanna really create that angle. All right, to set the face, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty butter powder this is the pro filter powder in the shade butter and i'm just going to set my under eyes and t-zone with this now to emphasize that angular shape even more i'm going to contour it normally i'll just bronze and not contour um, but i'm definitely going to be contouring with this look i'm gonna take my anastasia contour kit and this is the light to medium one and i'm gonna take this center cool tone shade and i'm going to carve everything out 
And you can see how angular I'm going with that. I'm going a lot higher than I normally would. And I'm going pretty straight up and down. I'm just gonna play it safe with a nude blush. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Blush in Brilliant Nude. Um, it's just gonna add a really pretty sheen. And again, the key is placing it and pulling up, placing it and then flicking up. Now I'm just gonna take a little Fix Plus and just melt everything together. For highlighter, I'm gonna be taking this Dull Beauty. Um, this is the Light Duo. Um, and I have mine in, make them stare. I don't know what shade this is. It doesn't say anything shade related. And we're just gonna highlight. <sighs> yes, I love this highlighter. It is great. The powder is so like smooth. I'm gonna take this dark chocolatey cool tone brown um, in the shade Last Bite. And I'm going to just place this in the very, very outer corner. Just a little bit like that to try and connect that wing to my bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna take my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara and I'm gonna concentrate this in just the outer corner. I'm not going to do all of my bottom lashes because that's gonna give a more rounded appearance. I'm literally just going to pop this in the bottom corner. All right, now comes the fun part. We are going to do that like inner corner wing little triangle situation. This is totally optional. You can leave it like this and call it a day. I just wanna take it one step further and really like bring it home. Um, so I'm gonna take that really small liner brush again and my brown eyeliner and I'm gonna try and do this with a pencil liner. I really don't know how well it's gonna turn out and I'm kinda stressed because I'm gonna ruin my whole makeup look if this doesn't look good. So basically, I'm just going to follow my natural eye shape and just draw the tiniest little extension, like so. Can we see the difference? So this has the little inner corner drawn on and this side does not. It's just like the most subtle, tiny difference. You can even go in with a felt tip liner if you want, um, but since I use shadows and tried to make it a little bit smoky, I wanna stick with kind of a more soft, um, approach um, and I find if you use a felt tip or a liquid liner it just looks like a little bit more dramatic and extreme so last but not least I'm going to apply my lip color so today I'm gonna be using this NYX lip liner in nude beige and I am going to overline my lips and um, for my lip color today I'm gonna be taking morphe matte lipstick in bear it all All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Just a really sultry, kind of smoky wing, really playing up the angles, that bushy, flatter brow with a little bit of an inner corner eyeliner. I think there's a few things that I wanna play with and just see, like experiment with a little bit more, but I definitely really, really love the way the eyes came out. I think they make a huge difference um, of my normal, like a very round shape and also my face makeup as well. So I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Let me know if you guys have been into this look or if you've been testing out that new like foxy cat eye kind of really elongated angular look what are you guys into lately what are your favorite trends at the moment um i'm pretty happy with this one i think it looks i think it looks pretty cool it's very different for me very out of the box so i'm a little bit uncomfortable with this eye shape but I don't hate it. I'm kind of into it a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next tutorial or video.